Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Friday, June 1, 2018. There are no significant impacts expected through the weekend as the gusty winds have moved out of the region and we're looking for generally seasonal temperatures with light winds area-wide. There are some remaining scattered wet showers and thunderstorms across far northeast Nevada, Idaho, and Wyoming and northern Utah today. And then warmer and drier weather for the weekend into the first part of next week. There is a chance of some isolated thunderstorms uh, possible overnight Saturday into Sunday over the Arizona Strip and then on Sunday up into portions of central and southeast Utah. And those storms may be on the drier side. The past 24 hours weather is shown here with a little bit of moisture having moved through northeast Nevada and up into eastern Idaho and that we can see that's where we've seen the lightning activity as well. Fire activity across the Great Basin remains fairly light with just a few uh, generally small fires popping up over northern Utah and northern Nevada. Observed precipitation is shown here with the past seven days on the left and the past 30 days on the right. The main area to look at here is across southern Nevada and southern Utah and even up into eastern Utah where conditions have been generally uh, pretty dry over the past seven days and even the past 30 days across the, the far southern tip of the geographic area. Current NFDRS values are shown here. Uh, we're looking at ERC with most areas below the 50th percentile right now, um, except across southern Utah and eastern Utah where some of those values are up to the 50th and 70th percentile. The main area of concern, however, is across far southeast Utah where those values are above the 90th percentile and um, are close to setting records and will likely hit that record mark um, this weekend as we move into the drier pattern. This morning's satellite imagery shows an area of low pressure swinging through the Great Basin today that's bringing a cold front, um, knocking our temperatures down just a bit from where we've been the last couple days and allowing some showers to continue over mainly the northeastern portion of the geographic area through today. By this afternoon, some of that moisture will have moved off to the east and will move into the warmer, drier pattern for the weekend. Overall, significant fire potential is generally low across much of the area, except over far southern and southeast Utah. We're still looking at some afternoon wind gusts for today, mainly over eastern portions of the area as that low pressure moves through the region. And by this evening, the thunderstorms and showers will be limited to really just the higher elevations of east, far eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. By Saturday, warmer and drier conditions move in with continued low fire danger across much of the area except um, for that high fire danger across the south and east. Generally lighter winds expected for Saturday with that drying pattern moving in especially across the south single digit relative humidities are expected over southeast Utah and far southern Nevada with higher values further north. More of the same is expected on Sunday with continued uh, dryness across much of the region. It is on Sunday that we could start to see some of that moisture uh, from the south squeak into far southern uh, Utah and the Arizona Strip and we could possibly see some isolated thunderstorms over uh, mainly the higher elevations there in southern Utah. Winds will generally be light on Sunday and here we can see the area that um, we're looking at for those thunderstorms to be popping up mainly southern and eastern Utah over the higher elevations. Uh, these thunderstorms uh, could could possibly be drier in nature and so we'll definitely be looking at this event to see how widespread it might become. The three-day precipitation accumulations are shown here with a generally dry pattern across much of the geographic area. Into the first part of next week it looks like another area of low pressure drops into the Pacific Northwest. This could bring a return of some gusty winds to portions of the central and southern Great Basin and a return of some precipitation once again to Idaho. Overall fire danger doesn't change much. And Tuesday uh, continued dryness with some gustier winds across portions of the area. And by Wednesday we might see a little bit of moisture moving back into Idaho. We'll be taking a look at where some thunderstorms might occur here. Uh, but generally the, the fuels are nowhere near critical across the north uh, so we're not too concerned about large fire danger with any of those thunderstorms. 
and a continued dry pattern across much of the west and south into Thursday. Although we are seeing some of that moisture moving up through the southwest, mainly the eastern half of the southwest, but some of that moisture could potentially move into central and eastern Utah for a mix of wet and dry thunderstorms there. The seven day precipitation totals are shown here and again continuing that dry pattern through much of the week next week. You can see the main bullseye of moisture across the southwest moves up through Mexico into New Mexico and Colorado but we may see a little bit of that moving into eastern Utah uh, for a mix of possibly wet and dry isolated thunderstorms. The extended forecast from the Climate Prediction Center is shown here with above normal temperatures expected everywhere across the Great Basin. For precipitation, it looks like we'll be dry across the north, um, but we could see some of that moisture from the southwest moving up into uh, southern Utah for a little pre-monsoon surge. This concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please ch check back tomorrow for the latest updates.